Today is June 16, 2011, Thursday. Tao Te Ching 15, translated by John C. H. Wu, 1939. The ancient adepts of the Tao were subtle and flexible, profound and insightful. Their minds were too deep to be fathomed. Because they are unfathomable, one can only describe them vaguely by their appearance. Hesitant, like one wading a stream in winter. Timid, like one afraid of his neighbors on all sides. Cautious and courteous, like a guest. Yielding like ice on the point of melting. Simple, like an uncarved block. Hollow, like a cave. Confused, like a muddy pool. And yet, who else could quietly and gradually evolve from the muddy to the clear? Who else could slowly but steadily move from the inert to the living? He who keeps the Tao does not want to be full. But precisely because he is never full, he can always remain like a hidden sprout and does not rush to early ripening. Tao Te Ching 15 Translated by Alar Fex, 2006. Those of old who were good at being warriors were subtly, wonderfully, mystically, in communication with profundities that can't be fathomed. Precisely because they can't be fathomed is the reason one is forced to take them by appearances. Cautious, as if in winter crossing a stream, strategizing as if they feared their own four neighbors. Dignified, they seem forgiving, scattered like ice flows about to break apart. Honest, they seem plain and simple. Free from worries and petty ideas, they seemed as open as a valley. Apparently acting without a plan, they seemed muddled. Calm, they seemed like the ocean, like the wind in the mountains, they seemed to be without stagnation. Who can, in muddiness, use the gradual purification of stillness? Who can, in serenity, use the gradual arising of movement? They who hold to this Tao do not desire to overflow. It's only by not overflowing that one can therefore be shielded and newly made. Tao Te Ching 15, translated by Hermann Uld, 1946. The wise men of old were skilled in the mysteries. Their minds were subtle and penetrating, and so profound that they were scarcely to be understood. Trying to understand them, this is the picture I call up. They were cautious, like those who cross a river in winter. They were reserved, like those who are suspicious of their fellows. Their behavior was modest and seemly, like that of one paying a formal visit. They were yielding, like ice responding to the heat of the sun. They were simple, like a piece of wood before it is carved. Yet they were open to receive, like a valley between hills. Yet they seemed to some of us obscure, like a muddy stream. How shall water become clear, save by keeping still? It is by the still and the motionless that life is quickened, those who follow the Tao do not crave replenishment, always satisfied but never surfeited. They are ever renewed. <laughs>